Hello, welcome to Animes, another weekly roundup of Ami Ami figure pre-orders. This will be the scale figures we'll be looking at today, and this will be from the 4th of March to the 9th of March. Get straight into it. So we've got Summer Waiter Illustration by Kink for 1 7th by Hobby Sakura uh, for 19,200 yen. Very curvy looking figure, obviously the sculptor work on this is very well done. Uh, very good looking figure overall if you like your beach style uh, figures. October 2024 release. Then we've got Azure Lane Tosa, Hometown Zest, 1 7th by uh, Daiki Kogyo for 29,200 yen. Uh, very nice sculptor as well. Obviously, a lot of detail in the um, tail area that they've got going here on here in the figure, which justifies, I guess, the extra price. Uh, there's a lot of extra work that has to go into the uh, tails that she's got on her. Um, but very good sculpt work, I think, on that. And the paintwork looks pretty good as well. Uh, September 2024. Uh, Evangelion Prototype 00, zero version 1.5 uh, multiple mold color edition by Meng model uh, for 13,200 yen. Include this because it's an Evangelion uh, one. It's not exactly a figure, it's a model kit, uh, so you can pose it a bit. Uh, but with it being Evangelion, I thought uh, it's worth at least including. Height of this is possibly 47 centimeters, so on a bit uh, taller than your sort of quarter scales that you actually get these days. So for the price, it's actually pretty good uh, value for money actually I think uh, so uh, probably worth getting if you're bigger than even yelling something I potentially may want to get May 2024 release uh, we've got Tenetol ReZero starting life in another world uh, Yuma Kawa made Echidna for 5140 yen uh, again love what Tenetol doing doing these uh, figures that are you know pretty good detail for the price overall yes there's no shading or anything like that but you're at least getting characters that are um uh, like yes they're closer to prize quality but um different a bit more unique and probably a lot of people are saying better quality than pop parade uh okay that's new was another ten toll this one would be uh ten toll we zero is done life amelia made amelia 5140 yen so you can get a made amelia and echidna for just over ten thousand yen yeah uh, september 2024 Quite good. Well. I like the they've actually got a reasonable amount of shading going on in the uh, pink dress here as, here as well. Uh, Black Bunny illustration by Teddy, quarter scale by Freeing for 39,600 yen. This one's actually uh, possibly wanting the different price. It's a different, unique pose. You know, she's kneeling down rather than actually on her knees or lying down like a lot of the other Freeing figures. Uh, the suits, you know, got this red trim, which is a bit more unique. So it actually looks pretty good. And you get the drinks tray as well on this. This is pretty good overall. Uh, probably worth getting hold of if you. But it's from it's an OC from one wherever. It's not from any um, anime or anything. So you have to really like the overall design. That's what you're paying for really with this. And that's coming out in October 2024. Uh, Pop up parade SP Demon Souls uh, flute armor uh, for 10,100 yen. Uh, the detailing on this one's really well done. And this is a standard, yep, so it's not like the L size or anything. Or at least it doesn't mention 24 and a half centimeters. So mm, I don't know what well, SP might be a new lineup that they're doing uh, for these. But yeah, this is the detail on this is insane, for especially for Pop Parade. Um, for the prices, you know, more on the XL size uh, of Pop Parade lineup. So it might be a L or XL size, but. Uh, with it being a game IP, they might be lift, li listing it as an SP for some reason. But yeah, no, very good uh, looking figure. Much, definitely one of the better, much better quality uh, ones from Pop Up Parade that you can see from the images. The sculpt work and the armor is really well done. Uh, Pop Up Parade TV uh, Ashinoko uh, Kana Arima, 4,170 yen. So standard Pop Up Parade, sort of new bog standard figure uh, that you can get in the non scale. Just if you support like the character, you can get like a cheap version if, as well. If you're, you know, it's not a main anime that you uh, like to follow. Uh, character vocal series zero one Hatsune Miku Sak Sakura Miku uh, Hanami outfit version one sixth for good twenty two thousand yen by Good Smile uh, in January twenty twenty five. This is actually very good looking Sakura uh, Miku figure, and I think one of the better figures of Miku uh, that we've had. As well, a lot of the more recent ones we've had have been you know, really elaborate, like uh, extravagant bases and stuff on them to actually push them up in terms of cost and uh, appeal, I suppose. 
Um, but with so many Mikus out there, obviously, you, you can generally find one that you have a taste for, at least. Um, uh, Gulo, Guloko original character, um, Alvina Chan sister version for 24,200 yen uh, by Solarian coming out in September 2024. Uh, very good looking, yeah, you know, si uh, nun or sister priestess figure. Uh, for, for definitely well endowed. The sculpt work looks really well done, and how the uh, thigh, her legs are actually popping up through the tears in the uh, stockings are really well done as well. This is definitely a very good quality one. Uh, we'll have to see what uh, she's final like. The hairs like seems to be a bit of a blend. Like her fringe work seems to be a bit transparent, which might be a bit off putting. Some people don't like the transparent hair, and then the rest of her like twin tails are like standard. So hopefully this isn't semi-transparent. I think from the lighting it might just look like it or the paint they're using. Hopefully it isn't semi-transparent. Um, and they don't mention about anything of it being cast off or anything. So, uh, which is fine. You don't always have to cast off figures. Uh, Atelier Riser 2, uh, Lost Legends and the Secret Fairy Claudia. Chinese dress version 1 6th by Fat Company for 23,800 yen. Very nice looking figure. I uh, do like the white uh, Chan dress theme they've got going on here. Uh, very good looking pose and the cake that she's got is pretty good as well so is that no it's not cake sorry it's a uh, bowl of something in there yep very good looking figure though and then we've got uh of course we've got riser as well and chinese dress chinese dress uh, very good looking one uh, the sculpt work on the abs area is really well done as well for this so very good looking figure for 23,900 yen february 2025 and you can also get them as a pair we also get this extra Bit where they're holding hands so you probably get a couple of extra uh, hand uh, pieces uh, for it so that's for 45,000 yen so i would probably if you like both figures get both again february 2025 and one punch man finally we've got blizzard by amakuni for 24,700 yen in august 2024 um a, a bit pricey i think for what you're getting unfortunately i think a lot of people have been saying on um mfc that they're these figures are way overpriced for what you're getting. Like they look good, but not twenty-four thousand yen. Good, more like fifteen thousand to eighteen thousand yen, most likely, not twenty-five thousand yen really. Um, and the same thing with Tornado as well. Unfortunately, um, she's again like for what you're getting, it's they shouldn't be that price. So I would hold off on buying these um, and wait. Just keep add them to your bookmarks and then. Um, uh, just wait till August and then see when they're released. A lot of people are thinking that they probably will bargain in because of the price. It's kind of outrageous. Yes, they were very popular characters from One Punch Man, uh, both Tornado and Blizzard. Uh, but yeah, um, you would want both cards, but I don't think they're going to hold that price really. Um, Tenetol Saki to Pichan Otone uh, by Furu for 5,040 yen. Coming out in October 2024. Uh, Pretty good looking figure. I do like the sculpt work on this one. It's pretty in line with most Ten Tolls. It's a, a bit better, than, as I said, than Puppet Parade. Um, Shinobi Master, Senran Kagura, New Link, Quarter Scale, Kigar Hikagi, a Sexy Nurse version. By Hobby Stock for 27,400 yen. This is cast off from what I'm aware of. Um, so you can cast off, of, and there's two versions of this. It's her in the white outfit, and then there's her in a black outfit. For court scale, good price. Cast off could, is quite good as well. Um, I've not seen Senran Kagura. I sh probably should watch it. See if it's uh, this is a character I would want a uh, you know, court scale of this um, style in my collection. Uh, Melty Princess ReZero, starting life in another world, palm sized uh, for 7,400 yen. Uh, Good amount of detail, I think, for this, even though it is a non scale small character. Uh, non well, definitely like it sits in your palm as the, the entails, but yeah, no, the detail on this is, looks really good. Like the sculpting work they got on the uh, th uh, the folds of the dress and that lot look really well done, so yeah, uh, pretty worth uh, the price. Probably actually not too bad for uh, July 2024 release. Uh, Puchiroma X Freeran Beyond the Journey's End Journey three pack. So you get three main characters. These look like sort of the you know, busts, I guess you could say, for 6,980 yen. Uh, coming out in July 2024. 
Uh, these look really good actually overall, and I think the price is not too expensive. There's a good en enough amount of detail uh, for them. And if you don't think you're going to be wanting to get like a full court scale figure of each of them, um, then you can get these at least to have in your collection without you know breaking the bank and spending you know fifty thousand yen on three separate scales. Um, and then they do an ex um, exclusive version of these, which looks like it comes with these two statues, I think. Um, I've not still not watched through, and I need to watch them. So you got a Hemil Hemil statue, it's a bonus. So yeah, you get a Hemil statue figure as well for nine thousand two hundred fifty yen. I don't know how important having the Hemil statue present in here would be, but you, they do that on Amiami for extra three thousand yen. Or two, two and a half thousand. This one has came out of nowhere. Uh, Cormorant one fifth uh, by Ulop uh, for twenty thousand nine hundred yen. This one's a, like a bust as well, but this one's a very nice, detailed uh, looking of bust. The effects on the water effects on this is really well done. She seems to be some sort of dragon esque girl, I suppose. That's then like fished, obviously, some sort of <coughs> water out, um, or maybe she's some sort of sea serpent. Um, uh, you know, Denizen. So this one's kind of like an OC design, but you know, it's a very good looking figure, and I think a lot of people like this um, since it's turned up into the top 10 on the Yami Yami uh, pre orders for the week. Uh, Love Live Niji Sanji High School Idol Cup, Yu Takashi, on 7th by Wave, 18,810 yen. Pretty good looking uh, figure overall, not too bad. Uh, price might be a bit high for what you're getting. This is, you know, a very basic paint job on here. Like the head, the green tints look really nice, black to green tints. But apart from that, the, the overall figure the paint job is pretty basic. Probably not worth eighteen thousand really. Uh, gift plus Honkai Star Rail Tingyun Yun one tenth by Mythos for five thousand one seventy yen. So as a one tenth scale, that's why the price is so obviously low. But you do seem like you're getting a lot of detail for it being one tenth, at least the sculpt work in here. So it's looking pretty good. But with it again being one tenth, you're not you have to get really close to notice the detail. So from a distance, um, it'll look pretty really good. Uh, but yeah, it would have to be pretty well lit though as well in your display. Then we've got another free uh, quarter scale figure. We got a uh, mobile suit Gundam Seed, uh, Lacus Klein, bare leg version this time, for thirty six thousand three hundred yen. Very expensive for the bare leg ones. Normally they've uh, got a bigger discount, but I think this one seems to be closer to the actual price of the original um, at launch with the tights. Uh, this one's at October 2024. Um, still not watched or uh, Gundam series. I really should watch it. I do like Gundam uh, mechas, so I really should watch this uh, anime series to see if I like this figure. Uh, but this is one I potentially would be looking to get the original one for, not the. Uh, uh, bare leg ones. I don't really like bare leg figures, really, uh, freeing or quarter scale figures, really, overall, not when they're bunny suits themed. Uh, My Hero Academia Nejiro Hado Wave, 1 7th, by Spirit Tail for 24,970 yen. This one's a bit different because there's three listings that I found of her on Amiami, which are right next to each other. Um, and the only reason I can tell that, uh, well, t that they tell why they've done that, is because they got three different areas of that they're shipping these to so if you notice down here where below the pre-order button there's a asterisk and it says these products can only be sold in certain regions um, and all of them are unique uh, regions depending on I guess what um, so this one seems to be more European uh, this listing so it seems to cover a lot of the European countries um, and Middle East uh, as well and then uh, this one seems to be United Kingdom and um, so some other bits of Europe. So this is more Western Europe and uh, Colombia, Guam, Argentina, uh, and the United States. So this is sort of you know uh, North America and uh, far uh, far West uh, Europe uh, and South of, um, America and South Africa. And then this listing is Indonesia, Cambodia, so it's sort of the Asian section uh, or East Asia. So it's really weird having these three under having like individual listings with different regions. So when you are purchasing these, um, definitely keep it, just make note of this if your country falls in these regions or your location falls in these regions. Um, if yours doesn't, then I would send an email 
to uh, Amiano customer service and uh, just ask for clarification of, you know, whether you can get which one of these listings you do would use um, in case if it isn't there, if it if it isn't listed here, then they, you might still be able to purchase this because this is a very nice looking figure. I could definitely tell a lot of people would be wanting to get this figure, but this uh, stipulation on shipping might be a bit of a sticking point for a lot of people. So November 2024 for all of these, because again, it's just a region and specific sales point, which is a really uh, off thing. I've never seen this before with Amiami. Um, uh, there might have been previous videos where there's been all list and I've just ignored them. Um, but from what, this is the first time I've ever noticed it. I just, as soon as I saw three, and there was no like special edition or exclusive sales or it, they're all identical. It's literally just the region. Um, that does it for this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, um, and I shall catch you in the next video, which will be Nendroids, uh, SH Figure Arts, Posable Figures, stuff like that. So uh, that should be it, and I shall see you in the next another video. Thank you very much. Bye.